Hello and welcome to the Cloud Monitoring Academy. My name is Saurabh Nachne and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a TDW connection. Typically when the TCR database and the warehouse both exist on the same box, there is no problem creating a connection. However, the problem mainly occurs in scenarios when a remote database is installed. So in this case, I have a TCR server which has TCR DB local, whereas I have a warehouse which is on a separate DB2 server which is remote. So before I even go into uh, the TDW connection and how to set it up. I'm first going to share a few details about the DB2 databases. So the first command I'm going to execute is the DB2 list database directory. And if you look at this output, you will notice that the TCR DB is available locally on the DB2 that's installed on this particular box, whereas the warehouse which holds the historical data that we want to pull for our TCR reports resides on a remote server. However, as you can see, the list DB directory already shows us that you know both the databases are available locally how did i get to this stage is by cataloging the warehouse database that's on the remote server so i executed the catalog database command in order to make sure that the warehouse is available locally this is one of the most important steps before uh, you go any further. I'm not going to delve into too many details of DB2 since the focus of this exercise is to create the TDW connection. But the most important aspect that I want to highlight over here is that the remote database needs to be cataloged on the local database. One other command which I would like to highlight is the DB2 list node directory. I have not captured the output as it contains the IP addresses for the two servers, uh, but essentially I will capture what a typical output of this command looks like. However, this is just a stepping stone to cataloging the required database which in this case is warehouse so once this is done uh, we will proceed to creation of the tdw connection i have reached this page by clicking on launch and then actually uh, hitting the administration option um, right now i can go back to the connections page uh, but when you are in on the connection screen, you will see administration as an option over here. So once in here, I will go under configuration and then under data source connections, I'm going to go ahead and create a new data source. I'm going to name this da data source um, TDW773. Uh, you can pick any name uh, that is convenient in your environment. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Under the database type, I'm going to select IBM DB2. Uh, note that I have configured JDBC connection uh, checked in here as well. After this, I'm going to hit next again. And in the DB2 database name, I'm going to enter the database name that I actually have, which in this case is warehouse. 
uh, note that it does not have an E at the end. Um, if you are dealing with ITM, you know that that's the typical name for the warehouse database. After this, I'm going to enter the password uh, and user ID that I use to log on to this uh, database, which in this case is ITM user and my password. After entering the credentials here, um, we can go in here and test the connection. As you can see, uh, the connection succeeded. Um, if you do not catalog your database, then you run into issues where you get a failure to connect and you know that is when you got to think, oh, did I catalog the database? So that's one of the important steps I wanted to highlight, especially because remote a remote database is involved in this case. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. After this, the next page um, expects to create a JDBC connection string as well. Um, this was introduced in TCR 3.1. Over here, I'm going to enter the uh, server name as localhost since the uh, remote database warehouse has been uh, cataloged on this one. I'm going to enter the port number and the database name once again. Uh, once this is done, I'm going to hit test again. And if you see, I got a, a succeeded message. So we are good to go to the next step. Um, in here, I am going to leave everything um, to defaults. And once this is done, I'm going to hit finish. Um, once I hit finish, you, you can see that I have an additional uh, TDW73 um, database created. So let's go ahead and test the new uh, TDW connection that we have created. Once you click on it, uh, there is a test connection option. And once you hit that and then hit the test connections button, you will see that both CLI and JDBC connections have succeeded. That's how you complete a successful uh, TDW connection in, in this case where you have a remote uh, warehouse database um thank you for watching this video from the ibm academies we really appreciate your feedback so please feel free to use the comments box below if you enjoyed this video we would love you to check the thumbs up button we have added several helpful links to the comments box which will take you straight to our blogs and other videos thanks again for watching